Good day. My name is John Steven P. Ramos and I'm here to conduct a demo teaching with the topic of introduction of set. At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to define set, describe and illustrate well-defined set and null set. Determine the elements of a given set and the last list, identify the number of elements or its cardinality. First, let's define set. Set is a group or collection of objects. It is named using capital letters. We have two elements. First is the symbol used for elements and the second one is the symbol used for not an element. Example, set A, school days in a week. School days in a week are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. These are called members or elements of a given set. Monday is an element of A, and Thursday is an element of A. Sunday is not an element of A, and Saturday is not an element of A. Because Sunday and Saturday is the weekends, and this is not a school days. Example number two, set B. Counting numbers less than to five. We have 1, 2, 3, and 4. These are called members or elements of a given set. Example number 3. Set B. Primary colors. Yellow, red, and blue. These are members or elements of a given set. We come now for empty set or null set, which define as a set with no members or elements. It is denoted by the symbol of bracket for empty set and theta for null set. In set A, set of triangles with four sides. We all know that triangles has only three sides. In set B, set of months in a year starts with B. We all know that there's no such months that starts with letter B. In set C, set of whole numbers less than to zero, but zero is not considered as a whole number. In final phase, cardinality refers to the number of elements in a given set. It is denoted by the symbol of small letter n. Cardinality of set A is written as small letter n in the quantity of A. In set A, set of primary colors, we have yellow, red, and blue. Therefore, the cardinality of set A is equal to 3. In set B, school days in a week, we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Therefore, the cardinality of set B is equal to 5. Now, let's assess the lesson. Here, I have prepared a group of objects and let's identify them according to their sets. In set A, we have shoe, jacket, and cap. What set do you think they are? In set B, we have ball, doll, and toy car. What set do you think they are? In set C, we have orange, mango, and banana. What set do you think they are? Let's figure out if your answers are correct. In set A, they are objects that can be worn. And set B, they are set of toys that can be played with. And set C, these are set of fruits. And that's all for the introduction of set. Thank you for listening.